In this video, I'm going to do the complete workflow start to finish from Maya to Unity. And I'm going to go pretty fast, so you might have to pause the video or slow it down at certain parts. So I'm just going to stay super, super organized. I created a game project folder on my desktop, and this is going to have a Maya project folder and a Unity project folder. I'm going to keep those all kind of in one place so that I have it organized and ready to go. All right, I'm going to go ahead and open up Maya. And my first step in Maya is going to be to create a project. So I'm going to go File, Project Window. I'm going to click New, and give it a new name. So I'll call it Maya Project and then click the folder and I'm going to find my folder on the desktop. I'll hit accept and if we just take a look at this we now have a Maya project folder with all these other folders inside it. So if I'm moving this from computer to computer I'm just going to take this whole game project folder with me. Alright so that's done. Let's go ahead and go file save scene as which is shift command s Make sure it's saving to the right place. Looks like it is, so it's saving to my game project folder, Maya project, and then my scenes folder. And I'll call this scene one, cube, or something like that, and save it. I'll make a cube. I'm going to scale it up just so that I have a little bit more space to work with. I'm going to go ahead and automatic map it, and I'll click off just to confirm that automatic mapping and then open up my UV texture editor. So I have it selected in object mode. So I'm in object mode and I have it selected. And here's my UVs. All right, that looks fine. Let's go ahead and go image UV snapshot. Make sure it's saving to the right place. I can hit browse, find my images folder, which it actually defaulted to it. So in my case, it worked immediately, but just make sure it's going to the right folder. And we'll give it a name like UV snap. PNG format. You give it a size, maybe I'll do 2048, and hit apply and close. All right, I can just close out of that stuff for now. And I'm going to minimize Maya. And we should have in our images folder that UV snap. I can open that up with Photoshop. Again, I'm just staying super, super organized. I'm going to go File, Save As, and I'm going to save this as a Photoshop document just to start. And I'll call this Cube Textures or something like that. All right, so I just want to make sure I'm working in the Photoshop document. So this top layer, I'll call this Guides, and I'll lock it just so I don't mess with it. So that's my guide system I'm working with. And anytime I save out a texture from Photoshop, I want to turn that off so that I don't get these lines Otherwise, these lines will be captured and you know on my actual model. So I'm going to turn that off, make a new layer. And I'll just call this one background. Shift delete or shift backspace is fill. And I'm just going to fill it with 50% gray because that's a nice way to start. And I'll make a new layer and I'll call it, let's just call it color. Or we could even call it albedo because that's what it'll be called in Unity. And I'm going to do kind of a funky gradient. And I could do it piece by piece. So I could select each one of these like this, then take my gradient tool and you know do my gradient in it. So I might do it across a couple of these. All right, so let's call that good. So this is the image that I want to export. And the simplest way to do that is I just turn off my guides. I'm gonna go File, Save As. And we're gonna export this as a TIFF file. That's what I like to use. It's the really high quality. 
I'm going to uncheck layers. And I'll call this like albedo or something, just so I know what it is. And I'll hit save. You can do LZW compression if you want, or just leave it how it is. It doesn't really matter. We'll hit OK. And it should have saved a file. Sorry, my interface got a little wonky there. So we have this great TIFF file with our image. Okay, that looks good. So I'll turn that off. Now I'm going to make my normal map layer. I like to start by filling it with whatever I want my base kind of depth to be. So I'm going to fill this layer with white, or 50% gray actually, because that'll just be normal. I'll call this one bump slash normal. Then I'm going to do something a little funkier with my gradient this time. I'll do one of these. Kind of go radial with it. This should give us some interesting results. So there's one step I need to do before I actually export this, so I can just save my PSD file real quick. And what I like to do is I like to duplicate this layer, just so I have a copy of it. Select this top copy and I'll go Filter, 3D, Generate Normal Map. And this will generate a kind of normal map. This, this isn't super useful, this preview but you can kind of look in here and see what it's going to look like. So I could blur it more or less. So if I want to have it really crisp or really blurred, I can invert the height. I can change a bunch of contrast details, have it mapped to different objects just to see what the result's going to be. It doesn't really matter. We'll just do it on sphere for now. And we simply hit OK and it's generated this great normal map. So we have the bump map down here and the normal map right here. So I'm gonna hide the guides. We're ready to save this. I'll go File, Save As, and save this one as a TIFF as well. Same format. And hit Save. I'll just leave these settings because that's good. And I'll save it. So we've created a Photoshop document, which we can always come back and edit later, right? We have our UV snapshot just laying around here. Then we have a normal map, and we have an albedo channel. So we're good to go. This is also called the color channel, remember? I'm going to go back to Maya, and let's talk about how we actually apply all of these in Maya. Technically, we could just jump to Unity at this point, but I want to show you how you could look at it in Maya. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down right click on my model and do Assign New Material. And we're going to work with a material we haven't used before called Stingray PBS. This means Physically Based Shader. This is extremely similar to the Unity Shader. So we'll click that, and it's applied it, and it's opened it up over here on the right-hand side. Now just before we get into editing it too much, I'm going to go Shading, Hardware Texturing, make sure that that's on. You can actually already see that there's some sort of metallicness to this. I'll give it a different name just for simplicity's sake. So I'll call this cube material. There's a couple options in here as we scroll through this menu. We want to use a color map and we want to use a normal map. We'll scroll down and look, color map, normal map, metallic map, roughness, emissive, AO. This means ambient occlusion. So I can say color map and click that little button and it'll open up this file and I can click that. I'm going to need to go up to my images folder and find it. All right, so that applied my color. I'm going to click off and click back on it and I can find my cube material pad. If you don't see it, you can always hold down right click and say material attributes and that'll open it right up. Now let's go find our normal map. Say open funky. So now we have our normal map and our albedo map applied to our model. Looks great. I'm going to save that. Now it's time to send this all to Unity. And it's actually best if we start with a Unity project, like already created. So let's go ahead and hit this and go to Unity. And 
and I'm going to go to my projects tab and say new project. I'll give it a name, I'll call it cube project. I'll go ahead and just select my game project folder. Turn off Unity Analytics. And at this time we could add asset packages, which we're not going to bother with yet. And I'll hit create package. After a little bit, it should open up our project. And once it's open, we're going to be able to send directly from Maya to Unity. And it'll come in just like this. I know this seems like quite the burden, quite a complex process, but it's pretty simple once we get used to it. All right, so here's my project, right? Nothing in it, nothing in my assets right now. I'm gonna go back to Maya, File, and I have this selected, just keep that in mind. I have this selected with my object mode. File, Send to Unity, and I can say Set Unity Project if I want to, but I'll just do Selection for now. find my Unity project. And once I'm in the root folder, so just it says assets, library, packages, etc., I just hit select. And then it should automatically plop me into my assets folder, which it did to export my selection. FBX export is fine. The only thing I need to change over here with all of this stuff is I need to, in the file type specific options, I need to say embed media, have that checked. All the rest of this is fine, and I need to give it a name, so I'll call it cube test or something. And export selection, and it says it successfully exported my FBX. If I hop back to Unity, it just imported my cube. But as we can see, my textures didn't come across. This is okay. I'll show you how to do this really quickly. So we have this cube material down here. What we want to do is we actually want to extract this and we want to extract the textures and Unity does this for us. So I have my model selected and on my right hand inspector page, I'm going to click materials and there's a use embedded materials and I'll say extract materials and I can just choose my default folder and then extract textures. All right, great, so everything came out. And we have this cube material here. So what I need to do is now link all these back together. So I can just link this to the albedo channel, link this to the normal channel. And I'm gonna show you how to fix this. We can actually just say fix now and it should be fine. And we don't need to worry about the rest of these. These are just kind of little extras that come over. But if you want to link them, you can. Again, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna, I can actually just delete both of these. Let's just do that. And now my cube is exactly as it was in Maya. So we have this kind of one-to-one. -one. one thing that we might have to change, this is just a little note, is change standard roughness setup in the cube material. So once I have my cube selected to just standard, that usually works a little bit better. But now we can play with some of these settings, like we can make it more metallic, more smooth. This normal map has a value right here that we can increase to make it more intense or less intense. Now remember, this is like the last step. So I've already, at this point, I've already completed everything else. You can just clear these, by the way. These are just little pop-ups that you get. So it's hard to go back and forth and back and forth. So make sure that you've actually you know, finished your model. You finish the textures, everything looks great. That's whenever you actually do this send to Unity option. But that is the whole process start to finish.